most of this is pretty high level stuff that we were aware of already and um, it just reminds me of of what happened that you know that a gunman stormed his way into an elementary school and uh, shot to death 26 people 20 of which were first grade boys and girls I can't do nothing my 12 year old son said I hope that no other family ever has to go through this again I mean we we have to do everything we can. We, we, it's time to evolve as a society. The, the conditions that exist now for this to happen on a seemingly regular basis, that should be unacceptable. You shouldn't be embarrassed to say I'm treating my brain so my brain is healthy. We have to, we have to retool our uh, gun legislation. It's, it's, that, it's not going to infringe on anybody's right to bear arms. It's not going to cause any confiscation issues to arise. Um, um, universal background checks, uh, enforcing the laws that are already in place, uh, zero tolerance on trafficking and straw purchases, and the ban of high capacity magazines outside of a shooting range. Those are common sense that gun owners and the majority of Americans support. We're very much connected. Um, my wife, myself, we have a 12-year-old son and 11-year-old daughter, and our little Daniel was seven. And we play a lot. We spend a lot of time, we read books together, we sit at the table and eat dinner together every night. And so my son and daughter are experiencing a profound loss of their little brother. Uh, they used to sleep in the same bed together, all three of them, by choice. So Daniel's absence is absolutely profound in our house.